Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today is December 5th, 2022. The Lord titled this word, The Horseman. And the scripture he gave me is various scriptures in Matthew 24 and Revelation 6. And I'm going to try to make it through this. It's a, It was a very, very hard vision last night. Last night I was very tired. And as much as I tried, I was not able to go to sleep. I didn't know it at the time, but the Lord had something else planned for me, and it was not sleep. At least, not for a while anyway. A little after 3 a.m., I was given a vision which I estimated lasted around 30 minutes. The Lord has given me visions and allowed me to see many terrifying and horrific future events, from asteroids and volcanoes to wars, nuclear bombs, and killing. But none of those can compare to what I experienced last night. It was the most terrifying experience that I had ever had, so much so that afterward I was not able to sleep for hours thinking about all I had just seen. Just after 3 a.m., I suddenly found myself no longer in bed or in my bedroom, but in a place I did not know or recognize. Even though the lighting seemed somewhat dimmed, I was able to see everything around me clearly. And this is the vision. The first horseman, Matthew 24, 4 and 5, and Revelation 6, verse 2. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Revelation 6, 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. <clears throat> I was standing there, not yet seeing anything, but I could hear the sound of a horse snorting behind me. I then felt warm, moist air hitting the back of my neck. I quickly turned around, and I was shocked to see a massive white horse with bright red eyes. This horse was very tall, with his shoulder up above my head. It looked very angry, snorting and moving about. I then saw the rider on the horse, who had a deadly-looking appearance. I did not look, it did not look to be human or angel. It looked like a cadaver with the look of death, but it was also alive, like the living dead. It was very ugly, half-naked, and wearing what looked like a Roman toga with some of the material draped over one shoulder. It had long hair, dirty blonde in color. My attention was then drawn to the rider's hands. I saw one hand holding the reins of the horse, and the other hand was lifted high up, holding a bow. But this was not the kind of bow used with arrows, but a bow that was a rainbow. I was surprised to see this. The arm was raised high up with the rainbow in hand, and I saw a look of great defiance in the face. I looked closer at the bow and counted the colors. There were only six. I thought, where is the seventh color? Then I heard the voice of the Lord say, This is deception. It will run full speed until I return. Its deception will come to fullness when the son of perdition takes control. Its deceptions include the blank agenda, the religious agenda, the government agenda, the drug agenda, the education agenda, the woke agenda, the media agenda, and the entertainment agenda. I turned again to see the angry white horse with red eyes and the rider who now had a look of pure hatred along with the look of defiance. I looked again and saw no crown anywhere. I then understood that the crown given to this writer is his authority to deceive the whole world. Second horseman, Matthew 24, 6 and 7 and Revelation 6, 4. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. For all of these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, 
and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. Revelation 6, 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Again, from behind me, I heard a horse snorting. I turned this time to see a massive red horse, the same in size as the white horse. It looked as if it was on fire. Its eyes were black, and it appeared angrier than the white horse. The rider again looked like the same kind of pale-skinned cadaver with a look of death. This time the rider was wearing a long, black, hooded, cape-like robe. The eyes were empty as if staring off into the distance. I see a large, two-edged sword in one hand, and I hear the sound of screaming every time it moves. I heard the voice of the Lord say, This rider takes peace from the earth. Its sword swings back and forth, dividing asunder everything. This horse and rider will ride until I return, culminating in world war. Only I can bring peace. I am the Prince of Peace. This spirit causes division, which takes away peace. It divides marriage, races, nations, states, men, women, everything that can be divided to cause strife and take away peace. The third horseman, Matthew 24, 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. I once again turned to look as I heard snorting behind me. I saw a massive, shiny, black horse. It's so shiny that the reflection of his jet black coat has a dark blue tint to it. This horse's eyes were pure, bright white. It appeared like two shining white balls against the blackness of its head. This horse did not seem as angry as the other two horses, but I sensed a strong evil about it. I then saw the rider, but due to the darkness surrounding this horse and rider, it was difficult to see what it looked like or what it was wearing. I was able to see the rider's arm as it extended out. It was very thin, just skin and bones. I could see a pair of sil silver balances being held in the bony hand with light reflecting off the scales as the hand was raised out and upward. I heard the voice of the Lord say, Cause the balances to be unfair. Give them little, but charge much. Change the weights to give less, but say it is the same. Do not take from the rich, but take all from the poor. I then got a sense of great evil from this rider and I heard these words. This horse will ride until I return. Fourth Horseman, Revelation 6, verse 7 and 8. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. I then smelled an overwhelmingly horrible, putrid smell. It was like a combination of many rotting dead animals along with hundreds of sewers all in one. I turned to see a disgusting, sickening, pale green horse with blood-red eyes. The rider on this horse was a skeleton with skin stretched over it. The smell was so horrendous that it was all I could do to keep from being sick. This horse and rider were extremely repulsive, and I felt a void or an emptiness coming from them. This horse and rider followed behind the other three horsemen and seemed to be like a vacuum, sucking up or drawing into it all who died, both man and beast. This was death. I heard the voice of the Lord say, This horse will ride until I return. I will do away with death. I then had a view of the earth from a distance, 
and I saw all the four horsemen riding, circling the whole earth. The horses were galloping together at an extremely rapid speed. The first three horses side by side with the fourth one following behind them. The fifth seal, Matthew 24, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. I then saw a people, more than the eye can see and possibly ever count. They had on white robes and were crying out, How long? How long? I heard the Lord say, These have come out of great persecutions in the past, but the greatest persecutions are here now and will finish when I gather unto me my bride. The sixth seal. I then saw a hand, a very large hand and a fist. I was seeing this hand from the wrist down and saw a hole at the base of the palm. The fist opened to reveal what looked like a glazed brown disc with the number six on it. The Lord then spoke this. I hold the sixth seal in my hand until the time my father says to break it. I say repent now. For it is not known when this seal will open. Repent now, for it is close at hand. My son, look at the colors of the horses. White, red, black, green. What nations have those colors in their flags? Beware, says the Lord. Amen, Lord Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led by the Lord to do so. Please see the description box for the transcript of this word. I'm not sure if it's all going to fit or not. If it won't all fit, I will post it on the community page on YouTube. If there's anyone out there who's not come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, repent now, ask for forgiveness, and surrender your life to him. Time is short. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.